MJF could be out of action for close to a year. We got an update on Naomi's return to WWE and who are this year's biggest winners and losers in WWE. Stay tuned and find out. So some slightly concerning news regarding former AEW World Champion MJF following his match against Samoa Joe. He dropped the title at World's End in what I thought was a great match. Yeah, really, really, really enjoyed match. it. Um, but Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter has written that he, uh, he worked the match with Jay White at full gear uh, with a torn labrum. Um, and he goes on to say the shoulder injury is the most serious because he's got a fair few injuries right now. He's hoping to have it heal through rehab rather than surgery. That's something that MJF has spoken about mm -hmm. uh, because surgery would put him out for months and he was told perhaps close to a year, which obviously he wants to avoid. Long term though, Dave says he's young. Getting this fixed as long term could be a lot better than it constantly being a problem for the rest of his career. As of now, he and doctors will determine what direction he tries. So this could be a few months. Ooh. This could be close to a year, depending on doctor's advice and MJF's own wishes. Yeah, close to a year though as well, you know, after the reveal of Adam Cole as the devil as well, you would have thought that have wanted to uh, capitalize on that feud as fast as possible whilst it's still hot. Obviously yeah. Adam Cole's still out uh, for a little while with his ankle, his foot as well. So it could be ages before we even get the blow off to that. And by that point, do people still, is there still enough emotional investment for people? Uh, it's difficult to predict. I think so. I think I, there I, will be. Personally, like, I, I would keep MJ off completely off our screens. Mm -hmm. uh, like, you can have Adam Cole reference him in promos and, yeah. and, and that sort of stuff. But I think the moment he comes back, it's going to be like he never left. Yeah, for and sure. You know what? I, I was growing tired, like I think a lot of people were, with the MJF babyface mm. run. But there's no better babyface than a babyface who's coming back from an injury. Yeah, definitely. And I think when he comes back as well, he'll have that edge again to him that we just love so much about yeah, him. It's one really great thing about MJF is that he's managed to change his character very, very little. Mm -hmm. um, he's doing much of the same stuff, uh, but he's getting massive, massive baby face reactions yeah. because, hey, he's our scumbag, right? Yeah, exactly. That's it, isn't it? Uh, we move on as a top WWE star is interested in joining a faction. Uh, cast your minds back all the way to August. I can't believe how long that's been. Uh, Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits uh, have been teaming up since then. We've seen various teases uh, over the following months of WWE adding new members to the group, the likes of Carmelo Hayes, mm -hmm. the likes of Trick Williams. Uh, many fans, though, want a certain EST to join, of course. Uh, uh, her husband's in the group, yep. Bianca Bella, her husband is in the group, and two big burly pals alongside uh, her husband. <laughs> Yesterday in an Instagram Q&A, Bella was asked whether she'd be interested in joining the faction, to which she answered, it would be dope. I've looked that up and dope means yes. Dope means that would be cool. <laughs> it would be cool. AF as the children say and I think a lot of us have been thinking this for the longest time as well. Uh, when she came back she lost the title obviously to EO Sky at SummerSlam. I think it was SummerSlam. Uh, and then she took a little bit of time off and when she came back she had that bit of an edge to her. Mm -hmm. And we were like, ooh, is she maybe are we gonna get to see a bit of a heel turn or what? Because she was just like putting people through announce tables and everything as well. Um, and that's not necessarily been the case yet. So I wouldn't be opposed to her joining the faction. I'd really like to see her yeah. do it. I don't think she's become stale as a baby face, no. but I don't think she's far away from being stale mm. as a baby face. And I know a lot of people already think that she is stale as a baby face. Um, I think this could really uh, reinvigorate her, Me rejuvenate too. her career. I think it'd be great. I think WWE would perhaps be a little bit concerned about doing it because she has been a hero to so many. Yeah. So many young children. Mm. Uh, like she's so over with the kids, which is an audience that they're desperate to keep on board. Yes. Uh, but I think they should do it. I, I think, think they should, they should absolutely do it, as well. do it. So, you know what? Like Hogan betrayed us all, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, uh, we, we've seen that side of it in NXT as well. Mm -hmm. And I and I think that's sort of like the place where a lot of us thought, wow, she's really, really good too. And, and that side of a character as well is what I think drew a lot of us to her as a performer. Um, and we've just not seen that side just yet. She's had fantastic matches, phenomenal matches as a babyface on main roster. But oh, I just want that little bit of something. I want to see a bit more progress with uh, Bobby and the lads as well. Yeah, me too. It's been a weird one, hasn't it? It has. Have they got a name yet? I don't think they do. I don't think they do yet, no. <laughs> I still think back, like, pandemic era WWE and <laughs> how much they dropped the ball with the Hurt Business. I'm yeah. still not over that at all. Was, they could have been amazing. Yeah, there was were, teasers but... of them coming back and stuff as well and yeah. then nothing really ever 
came of it. Obviously, Shelton's gone now. Um, Cedric, get Cedric in there as well. Ooh. Yeah, I bloody love Cedric. Yeah, you're a big fan of Cedric. Yeah, he, well, he is very he's good. Mint. He is very good. Uh, we got an update next on Trinity Fatu, known of course as Naomi in WWE. Uh, Observer backing up uh, reports from Fightful saying that she will return to WWE shortly after finishing up her TNA contract. Fightful first reported that it was likely, and then Observer's WWE sources that said that it was expected and in the current plans, which makes it sound like they're working on creative for her yes. already. Yeah. I guess uh, there have been unofficial talks with her dating back nearly a year and those in TNA expected that this would happen when her deal was up. Unofficial talks. Mm. Is that <laughs> bordering on contract tampering? Um, no, I'm uh, not sure. I guess they probably just went to her husband, hey, put in a word, yeah, yeah, we, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. have her back. Yeah. Of course we will. I mean, she was there for so long. I think Naomi's just excellent. And she's, yeah, she's she's excellent. She has an incredible entrance. You can never forget that. The, the, her entrance is so good. Yeah. Uh, and I'd like to see that again. Yeah, uh, me too. I want to see her come back as a uh, singles wrestler. Yep. Yeah. With the entrance, mm -hmm. people would be buzzing to see her come Ooh. back, and people have been saying, like, "Oh, do something with her in the bloodline." Not for me. I think, you know, obviously talking about Bel Air in the last story. Ooh, Naomi and Bel Air in a match. In a, ma in a tag team? In the, no, just like as a, like a single. Oh, one on one. Oh, I'm up yeah, for that. I think for sure. Uh, we are finishing off with WWE's biggest winners and losers. Just a, an interesting little tidbit to get you into the weekend uh, regarding who's got the best win-loss records, or the most wins and the most losses in WWE. So we'll start with the winners, shall we? Yeah, so Cody Rhodes went 106 wins to five losses overall and had the most wins by a wide margin, uh, followed by Rollins, who was 85, Sami Zayn, who was 66, Kevin Owens, 62, and LA Knight 59. They look great for their age. <laughs> you do. <laughs> uh, you've got to keep in mind that this obviously includes house show matches. So yes. you're going to see a lot more baby faces doing very well than you're going to see heels doing well, which is very much reflected. In the loss category, uh, with the heels, Ludwig Kaiser, 77. Oh. Oh, Bailey, 68. Let's turn that round. Let's turn that round. <laughs> Giovanni Vinci, uh, Giovanni Vinci rather, 66. Dominic Mysterio, 65 and his stablemate Finn Balor with 58 mm. losses. Uh, I, I, re I love looking at these. Yeah. I, I, I realize, right, we're getting to the end of this. It's not really massive, it's not news. Uh, no. I just I just like hearing about this stuff. I, so I, I quite like the it. statistics and stuff. And I like looking at this and seeing Dominic Mysterio there in the, in the losses category, but being like, what a 2023 he had though. Oh, like the man. growth and everything. Yes, he's had a lot of losses, but at the same time, it's not really harmed his character. At all. No, it's no, only for just sure. gone for just gone from strength to strength, I feel like. Now MJF is out of action. There is no conversation about who the biggest <laughs> heel in wrestling is. Yeah. I'm fed up of some people Not taking Roman MJF. Some do it's Dominic it's now. Dominic it's Mysterio. Dominic a hundred percent. That is it. You can join Sam and Fraser for your weekend news tomorrow. Apologies for this setup, by the way. We've not been here for quite a while, but uh, Sam and Fraser are filming something very, very exciting. So they've taken the big camera away, so we're stuck with the little camera here. That explains everything. All the best. Have a good weekend, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.